All right, in this recording, we're going to continue on with the modeling of the, the gun. And we're going to go ahead and get our split polygon tool. And actually, I'm going to use our insert edge loop tool so we can get a little bit more geometry so we can sculpt. Cut right there. Cut right here, too. Actually, I'm going to leave it. We'll cut a little bit later. All right, so we'll go back, pull these vertex in. So we're, we're going to try to <clears throat> really start to model the handle here and the rest of the body of the gun. So this stuff will probably be extruded out on its own here. I'm going to split down here in just a second. Do an insert edge tool again. Go right here, right here, and also let's see, right here too. That right, gives us a little bit more geometry to move stuff around. Hit W, and really be careful you're marking this so you're not just selecting that front. Okay, that's looking good. Pull this up. Pull that up. All right, looking good. All right, so now we're going to go to face. I want to go ahead and start making this little bracket here. Make sure it selects it all the way through, which it didn't do. Let's try that again. Click and marquee. Make sure it grabs it on both sides because we want this gun to be <clears throat> symmetrical. So we're going to hit extrude. And if you pull it out, it'll pull both out at the same time. All right, go to side view and use your little boxes. And we'll pull them in just a little bit so we can have some room to move it around. Pull this up. Oops. Apple Z. I want to hit W to move them up together. Alright, it looks good. So I'm going to continue going to my ver vertex and pull this up. Pull this up. Pull this up. Pull this up. Alright. Let's look at it from perspective view and see what that looks like. Okay, looking pretty good. I'm going to squeeze this in a little bit. I think it's a little too thick. Hit R, squeeze the gun in. <clears throat> now I'm going to grab this guy. Again, you want to do marquees on these. Shift, shift. Holding on this. All right, we extrude again. Pull in just a little bit, and then we're gonna go. And you do not hit W. We make sure you haven't touched R or W, and then we'll pull this out so it can pulls them out together and outward. All right. So now we go vertex, and there we go. It's looking pretty good. That's fine. W, 
this back a little bit. And I think we're ready to do this facing right here. Alright, we'll have it go ahead and extrude. I'm going to go ahead and pull in the boxes a little bit so it's smaller. Alright, so we're going to go here. Again, don't hit WR. Let's go ahead and pull them out together. Starting to get somewhere. Alright, so we're gonna look at the side again. See what other sections we need to pull out. Alright, I'm gonna pull this section out. So we go face. Again, you just wanna shift marquee these so you're selecting both sides of the gun. Okay, so I hit extrude. Squeeze it in so it's a little bit smaller. Just the boxes. Squeeze that in. Okay, side view, and we're going to pull these out, again don't hit W, alright, looking good, alright, let's look at the front, so I actually want to extrude that out, and maybe extrude this one, so I'll just do that by eye, I'm going to turn off the shading real quick so I can see what I'm doing, <coughs> so right here, I'm going to get a face, Extrude. Go ahead. Pull that in. And basically, I want to make it pull out. I want to extrude one more time so it's a nice box. Alright, so that's the ending point of that. And I'm going to do it for the bottom here. Extrude. Pull that in. This is going to be a little bit smaller. And extrude. Alright, go to object mode. Alright, we're getting there. Alright, I'm going to end the, the recording right now. And next we'll start working on uh, this area, the trigger, and also the sights and the, the upper trigger. Alright.